In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how we can auto trace an image to convert rasters into vectors using Corel Draw. As you can see, I already placed a raster image. It's blurry, it's made of pixels, we can clearly see that. So let's convert that to scalable SVG. Click on this image and you will have trace bitmap option above. There are several options. There's a quick trace, center line or outline trace. And there are also some hints. What is the suitable preset for our kind of drawing? So in my case, I'm using a clip art. Clip arts usually got limited colors, just like this cartoon drawing. I click on that. And I got a suggested settings for a clip art. Details are set to 95. I think I can reduce that a bit. Eighty-five is even better. We don't want too many little details to kind of destroy our overall illustration. Okay, let's now click OK at the bottom right to confirm this trace. And here it is, really quick. Let's zoom in. Comment plus to zoom in. And as you can see now, this illustration is very sharp. We turn this pixelated raster graphics into a sharp vector illustration. In addition, we can tap to all of the properties of the vector graphics. Like recoloring. So if I now ungroup this, I will be able to select certain shapes, so those building block shapes, and change color of them very quickly simply by setting a new color from the color panel. So it's really easy to actually modify the color of the vector image. It's way easier than with raster graphics. So if I just want to change the necktie color for SpongeBob, I can select that, give it a new color. Let's go with green. And here it is. All right, so that's how you turn pixels into vectors using Corel Draw. Now, I should save this new version as SVG. If you plan to use it later as vectors, you can save it as the native Corel Draw file, of course. But if you will send it to somebody else, maybe without Corel Draw, you can export this as SVG. So let's click File, Export. And from here, you can select SVG as your format. That's the most universal vector format that all of the vector editing programs can open. Adobe Illustrator, Affinity Designer, everybody can open SVG without problem. And we are done. Thank you for today. I will see you in the next video.